Okay, um, got to be reviewing a beer from a brewery that I've always seen. I've bought people um, beers from this brewery and sent them in beer mails, but I've never tried a beer from them. Um, it's from Cheddar Ales. Excuse me, and they're, I think they're based in Somerset, and this is their potholer, Golden Ale. Okay, so I've heard pretty good things about this brewery. Um, very good, sort of solid, sessionable beers. So it says Potholer is an award winning golden ale with zesty fruit flavours and a rounded, hoppy finish. It's brewed using the best quality Marisota, crystal, and wheat malts and a unique blend of the choicest whole hops. Okay, uh, they're based in Draycott Road, Somerset. Yeah, they are Somerset. Okay. Um, Website is www.chillerails.co.uk and it's 4.5% uh, and it says simply gorgeous. So let's see if it is. I know um, Elvis from Somerset Royal Reviews, I know he likes the old cheddar rails. Also, um, Nick, I sent him down Goat's Leap, which he really liked. So let's see what all the fuss is about. It's that time of year as well, it's really hot and I mean golden hours are just perfect. So, alright. Okay, colour wise, it's um it's slightly darker than your average sort of golden ale. It's got a nice sort of coppery sort of um darkness to it. But it looks very, very pretty, not too much carbonation. I mean you can see it charging up, but you know it's not causing too much of a head. It looks quite pretty actually. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm, not really getting much from that one. Oh, there you go, okay. All right, definitely smelling those um, English hops coming through. Um, a nice sort of earthy um, saltiness uh, to the smell. Um, slight sort of golden honey sort of tones, really, really far away. Not too, not too prominent. Even getting a little bit of um, gooseberry or something like that. Getting a bit of a, a sort of lagery smell as well coming through. Like a premium, you know, like a quality craft lager or something like that. Not the crap that you can buy in the tins on the shelf. Um, but it smells really refreshing. Let's give it a go. Cheers. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> oh, that is really refreshing. Let me get the rest of that in there. Um, right, sorry, I've got another bit. See, now that to me is how a golden ale should taste. Um, you know, a proper English golden ale. It's lovely and crisp. You've got just the right amount of carbonation to zing the tongue. You're getting those lovely, earthy, um, good old British sort of hops coming through combined with a spiciness from, a, from like a lager hop. Something like, I don't know if it's a SARS or something like that, but it gives you that sort of um, flavour. I don't know if it, it... Did they say they use any hops in this? Um, it might be the Marisota. Is it Marisota? Marisota. It might be that that's doing it, but it's really crisp. It's really English tasting and refreshing, and oh, it's just really smooth. And you know, it, you can tell its quality when you when you're drinking it. And you get a nice mellow. Almost like a, um, a spicy banana. It's really, really faint right at the end um, on the aftertaste. But you're getting those lovely, crisp, bitter, earthy tones completely throughout, refreshing the whole palate. Um, perfect, perfect, perfect session beer. This really is. I mean, this is a sort of beer I'd love to just drink at a barbecue all night. It is really, really good. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 
I didn't think I was gonna, but I'm gonna give that a nine out of 10. Because it's just the perfect, perfect session beer. Um, it's not overly hoppy. It's not got masses of flavors, you know, jumping out and saying, whoa, look at me. You know, sometimes you've got to give high ratings to <coughs> perfect styles. And this is the perfect golden ale to me. Nine out of 10, get it. Cheers.